so hey guys welcome to the new video today in this video we are going to see that how can you run your basic c or cpp program in vs code okay you will be needing a compiler for that firstly let's go in our browser and search for mingw click on the first link from sourceforce.net download this After this gets downloaded, just simply click on install. Just a second. So this is the installation window. Just click here. And then keep it as default. This will start installing your MinGW. Let's wait for some seconds. So yeah, my download is done. Now let's click on continue. And then select this uh, this one. And right click. Just a second. Then this developer kit. Mark for installation. Then this GCC and G++ compiler. And then base. You need these, uh, you can say these versions or applications for your C or C++ installation. Then click here and apply changes. Click apply. This will take some seconds. So it is almost done. Let's wait for some more seconds. So yeah, it is done almost. Now what you have to do is just close this. Just a second. Okay, click on apply again. I think there was uh, some installation error with this particular, you can say particular thing. Now you can see this. All changes were applied successfully. Now you can close this dialog box. Okay, close. And now let's go in your VS Code. And then you have to come in your extensions tab here and search for Code Runner. Code Runner. And install this one. And after that, you need to install one more thing which is C++ and C extensions pack or I will show you one more you have to install that only C C++ this one go and install this now click here in the explorer tab and create a new file named as test.c Let's check whether it is installed or not. So it is still being installed. Till then we can write our program. Okay. And then a main function. Intef. with some random statement like this one then end this line and return 0 with a semicolon let's save this so yeah it is also installed now now you have to click here and run C uh, run code so it is running now you here you can see the output that means your C or C++ programs will run now so that's all for this video guys now let's see you next time